Welcome to my online tutorial on making a Glog using Glogster. The web address is www.glogster.com. You can use this site, or if you're a teacher, you can go to Glogster EDU. Creating an account is easy, or you can begin by going directly to create a Glog. Glogster provides multiple templates which allow you to customize your Glog to best fit your project. I'd start by deleting the graphics on the main page. This will allow you to begin your Glog with a clean slate. I'm going to walk you through the basic steps for creating your Glog. A good first step is to choose a wall that best fits your project. Simply select wall off the left hand side toolbar. This will open a small window that will allow you to browse a variety of categories to find a wall that best fits you. You can preview what they look like in the right hand side viewer and when you find the one that works best simply click use it. You are now ready to add text, video, or images. Starting with a title, select text off the left hand side. You will see the same variety of categories. Browse through to find the one that works best for your project. Click use it to add it to your Glog. To manipulate the test, close out the small window. You can now click and drag your title anywhere on your poster. Click the corner arrows to resize. To add text, click Edit. Once you add your text, you can change the color click apply and you can choose a different font. Put it in the center or change the size. Click apply and OK to add it to your Glock. Choosing image off the left hand side toolbar will bring you up several choices. You can upload a picture, you can link, or you can grab using your computer's web cam. Using Upload, find your folder on your desktop and select the picture you want to use. You can add frames using the same categories. Choose Add Media to see how it will look with your picture. If you find one that you like, simply click Use It and it will be added to your Glog. Close out your small window, click your photo to drag it and resize it. You can also use these arrows to tilt your picture. Editing allows you to change the colors and add effects such as blurring or adding shadows. Click apply and OK to add it to your Glog. Let's add a video. Select video off your left hand toolbar. You can upload, link, or use your webcam to grab a video. You also have the option of going to SchoolTube. Put in your search criteria and you can preview videos in the right hand side player. If you find one you like, click use it. X out to resize and place your video on your wall. Now let's add sound. Choose sound off the left hand side and you'll again be prompted to choose upload, link, or grab sound using your computer's microphone. Once you've chosen a song, you can choose a player. 
This will go on your Glog and allow people to turn on or off your sound. Once you find one that you like, choose Add Media. Choose the song that you want to add and click Use It. X out to resize and place your player on your Glog. Editing will allow you to change the color of your player and add effects such as blurring. You can also change the settings so that your media will play automatically when someone visits your Glog. Click OK to save it to your Glog. You've now successfully added a title, an image, a video, and a song to your Glog. To preview, scroll back up to the top and click Preview. You can pause by using the player at the bottom. Go back to edit mode if you need to make any changes and then you can save or publish your Glog. This will prompt you to change your title, choose a category, and add tags. You can choose to make it public or private and then click Save. You've now created a Glog. You can register, log in, or go back to edit. Congratulations and happy glogging!